He has something remarkable to bless you, even amid this terrible time of coronavirus. You need to understand how prophetic the Bible is and how it absolutely is God's word and that they can trust it and how it prophesies Jesus just as he said. They need to hear the Bible revelations regarding the prophecies that you find across the Bible, even in the Queen of Sheba who could ever have thought that. Even the Ark of the Covenant has promised. You must hear what God has done. There's a reason why God has given that Ark, that sign. Why it had to be built a certain way, made from a certain type of wood, have certain dimensions. And we read that it was Bezalel that has made it. There's a reason. It is a spirit of prophecy that is contained in a physical sign that has a testimony that you must hear that will bless you today. God is awesome. Well, this, of course, is not the Ark. It's something physical that can help you to understand something. The Ark's basic form is that of a type of box. In the Hebrew, you find that the word for the Ark ties with a type of a coffin, a box, something that is used for gathering. The word in the Hebrew for the Ark, it has a primitive root that means to pluck. And it is called the Ark of the Covenant and the Ark of the Testimony. The Ark of the Covenant, the root word for covenant, goes to cutting. Thus it is the gathering coffin of plucking, of cutting. Remember that Messiah was cut off, not for himself, but for us. It is a sign of death. The gathering coffin, there is a gathering coffin and a plucking of death that awaits us all. We are guilty and the punishment for sin is death and the word of God stands. Oh, the gathering coffin of plucking has got a cover. It has got a cover that is called the mercy seat, seat of mercy and atonement. Who has covered the death verdict? Who has covered the lid of death for us? The wood that the ark would be made of, no, not this, but the ark was made of legitimate wood. It's acacia wood thorns. It is made of the wood of thorns. Wood ties with fastening in the Hebrew and thorns with piercing. You see the sign of the gathering coffin of plucking made of thorns. Where was that fulfilled? But in Messiah, who stood with a crown of thorns gathered unto death, not for himself but for us, as Daniel said. See, the Ark of the Covenant. He has given us atonement, a cover, a lid, and we find that in the prophecy of the ark sign, it was overlaid with gold. To overlay in the Hebrew means to lean over. It was overlaid with gold. Ties shimmer like gold. Golden as oil, fair weather. When Jesus was standing with his crown of thorns being gathered onto death, it leaned over towards golden shimmering light. Remember when Jesus was being crucified and he had the crown of thorns, the gathering coffin of death made of shit and wood. It leaned towards the moment he breathed out, being gathered unto death. That leaned towards golden shimmering light when he breathed out. The darkness that was on the earth while he was hanging on the cross, the moment he breathed out at three, the darkness was gone. And the gathering coffin of death by his breathing out, was leaning towards, overlaid with golden, shimmering light. See, the Ark of the Covenant sign is a spirit of prophecy that testifies what God has done in Messiah. It is the sign of the battle of God, whereby he has conquered death for us. In Jesus, it has a lid. On it is the Kerub. On it is the sign of grace and bringing forth the golden shimmering light, covering the coffin of the gathering of the cutting, whereby God has saved us and God's battle has been won by him who has died and lives. It is the place where he is meeting us under the sign of the testimony of Jesus, whereby we can have atonement as the coffin has a lid of mercy. We read that the person's name who has made the coffin is called Bezalel, the defense, the darkening, the sinking down of El, of God who is mighty to turn. Jesus sunk into death. He is the anointed to be cut off, not for himself, but for us, fulfilling the sign of the covenant. And he is the one that has fulfilled the testimony of the ark. And he has breathed out his death, overlaid, leaned towards golden shepherd. Light. See, 
the ark and follow the testimony of Jesus. The sign of the ark is for you. God loves you. Please like and share so that other Christians can hear and be strengthened in the time that we live. God alone gives this. God alone opens it to strengthen you. There is more to this sign that will be uploaded in a future time on the main channel called Messiah Song. But in this channel, a condensed version to bless you, to bless you. Please help bless other people as well. Join my hands and spread this because I cannot make it visible without you. Please, dear Christian, if this has touched you, make it known. Tell other people to come and watch and spread it. God loves you. He's fierce. It is time to minister. May God protect you from this virus. May God give you breath. May God surround you with his presence. And may God give you eternal life by his breath and in knowledge of his word that is prophetic beyond your mind. Click on the link. Watch all of the videos there as they come up one after the other. Share it. Like it. And make the word of God, which is our breath, go viral and not the virus of death. God loves you. Help me. Help me, please. God loves you.